What is up, y'all? It's your favorite producer, Ron. Got the recipe in today. Gonna show y'all how I cook up a Griselda type beat. Let's get into it. Ron got the recipe. As always, y'all, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get back into it. All right, so let's talk about how I program these drums, okay? It's not as simple as it looks, but it's pretty simple. First thing I do is open up a MIDI track. Once I open my MIDI track up, I'm gonna plug up my Yamaha electric drum kit, which makes my life really easy, my super cheat code when I do any kind of live instrumentation or any MIDI drums in contact or in battery like I'm showing you guys right now. My battery is probably gonna look a little bit or a lot a bit different from your battery because I've got some dope expansion packs that I bought from all my years of using machine. I really recommend battery because it groups all your machine expansion packs, all your contact expansion sounds into one place. So you can do a lot of damage in one VST plugin. The next thing I'm gonna do is go into battery and pick out the sounds I'm actually going to use. Simply go to the kit section. Once you hit that kits drop down, select drums, the possibilities are endless. You're gonna have acoustic drums, urban drums, live drums, digital drums. You got a bunch of drums to choose from. All kind of drum kits under that section. It's gonna be your job to pick out what's dope for you. And as always, you don't have to use battery. You can use whatever you want. All right, so here's the tricky part. If you're using a controller like me, like an actual you know, Yamaha MIDI controller for drums, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. You're gonna have to plug it up. Once you plug it up, you're gonna have to hit each one, hit each drum. You're gonna wanna make sure that that signal is showing up and matching up with whatever you're doing in battery. So if you hit your kick, the kick slot or the kick tab should show signal there. Once you have all that mapped out, the simple part is finding your drums and dragging them into the spot. Example, you find where your kick is at, you know your kick is there, now you need to go to the kits tab, find the right drums and drag and drop the kick onto that slot. All right, so let's talk about the groove. The BPM I went with was 78. Griselda usually likes to pick like slower, dirtier, grimy beats, and those drums really feel good at 78. You can even go to like 73, 75 in that range if you're really trying to get that gritty, grimy, Griselda type feel. You wanna keep in mind that you don't want all your beats to line up on the bars, okay? This is probably one of the few times where you're gonna not wanna use that quantization feature. The reason why is because we want that laid back kind of feeling, okay? We don't want things to be on top of the beat like pop music or like modern hip hop or even rock. We want that more jazz, uh, free feel kind of feel in order to really, really get into that Griselda type vibe. Let's talk about this sample. So I'm using two samples. They're both gonna be in battery, but they are expansion packs that I got from the machine expansion pack. Remember I mentioned that battery not only has drums, but it also groups your drums, samples, and sounds all into one place. So I'm using one sample called Puppy Love, which is from the Faded Reels expansion pack. And the other one is called Funky Donut from the Soul Magic expansion pack. Super dope plugins, go check them out. For the Puppy Love sample, all I did was play, was hold down one key, play it for a minute, duplicate that track, freeze that track. Now I can drag and drop that sample into my simpler. Now I have the freedom to take it a step up, take it a step down. I can play keys on it, whatever I like. I've got a lot more freedom to manipulate that sample into the beat. I didn't do that with the Funky Donut sample. That sample is stayed in battery and it's only gonna play a couple of times throughout each measure. I think on every fourth bar, the sample will ring a little bit. I also added a little bit of delay to the sample. I'm using the stock Ableton delay just so I add a little bit more of like that griselda -y kind of feel to it. It's in the background, it's not in your face. It's very subtle, but it still makes a difference inside the beat. All right, so let's talk bass. This gonna be quick. All right, so for griselda type beats, you don't want to have a super funky, crazy bass line. 
we want that thing to be as simple as possible. All I'm doing for this bass line really is playing one or two notes. The downbeat is your friend. Not the down beats, the down beat. The reason why I'm saying down beat and not beats is because I'm only playing one note for the majority of the measure. It's really just one long whole note for like three measures. And on the fourth measure, I'll play that same note, maybe an octave higher for like half a measure. We can talk about some of the effects that I have on the bass line and give it more of that Griselda E grunge. I'm using guitar rig six. And the only thing I did was kind of get some of that was roll off some of the muddiness. I'm using the stock Ableton 8 EQ. And really all I did was just roll off some of that low end. I want to allow some room um, for the piano and the sample and whatever else I decide to add to the beat. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. Like the video, share it with your friends, and let me know how you feel in the comments, man. I really appreciate it. Peace.